Hi, I'm Richard. I'm beekeeper. And these are my smokers. I've got a larger one and a smaller one. It started out when I had just a few hives, this one here, but once you get 10 or 12, you probably need the bigger one. It's more of a commercial thing. Now this lid here, the pin's missing from it, so it doesn't just swing up like that, but that's okay. I keep them together anyhow. So let's get started here. Uh, let me get some matches. I try to keep my matches in a dry spot. And there we got one there, but I need a little striker. And I drop one so I can pick it up and put it back in. It'll probably be wet until next time. Anyhow, let's take some newspaper. That's kind of a wet newspaper. I'll try a drier one here. Yeah, this one will work. So, first thing I want to do is start the match. Put that back in there. I've got my match burning. And light my, my flame. And light my newspaper. So, let's go in there. And we're doing fine. You keep it there like that. Don't want to burn my fingers, but puff that up. Now, I usually keep a little bit of cardboard, some type in here. Just a, you know, a little piece of something. And these are really good, the little toilet paper rolls, because they make a little chimney-like. Make the fire go good. So, I just pump that up a little bit. And while that's starting there, I'm going to put my lid back on here before I stop all my matches, which I just did. Ah, so this is one of the hazards. That's why I put them in a jar. I usually put them in a box or something. Yeah, look at that. All those matches just wasted. Well, maybe not. Maybe they'll dry out and be good. Who knows? But anyway, I got them. I'll put them back in. And let me put the cover back on it. I make mistakes lots of times. That's what happens when you're old. Need some hot juice right now. Let's see if we still got some fire. Yeah, we do. So we're burning good there. I'll just take a few. This is out of yesterday's. Got a little newspaper still in it. Some little pine needles there and get them started. And I keep these dry pine needles in the coat here. And you'll notice I'm not using any gloves or anything. And you you can learn to do that. Hope you're enjoying this video. I am. <laughs> Look at that smoke coming out of there. That's doing good. Now, step it on down. Now these pine needles were picked up when it was wet. So I put them in this tote and I put them on, under the porch where they're not going to get wet again. And that keeps them good for the next time. And so, you notice that little flame down there inside the side of smoker? Well, that's why you want to do it where you're in a dry spot or a place where you're not going to have a fire spread. You notice that little flame by the smoker there? Well that's why you want to do this somewhere where you're not going to spread a fire. You don't want any dry leaves or pine needles about. I could close this up right now and probably be good for a while but if I wanted to go for a little longer I need to stick more stuff in it. Just stuff it down there. You don't want to stuff it too much because you'll put the smoker out by all together. Now I've got little pieces of rotted wood in there that's been around for a while. And we're in pretty good shape here. So if I stuff more in there, it'll smother it. So we're about good right now. That'll last me a couple hours at least. Then I can put a little more smoke in. A little more. Then I can put a little more fuel in if I need it. I hope you're enjoying this fall weather. 
It's nice and cool. Probably was well inside the house. It was 68 degrees this morning. I imagine that means probably about in the 50s or old 50s this morning outside. But yeah, I'm not gonna have any leaves on these trees very pretty, pretty soon. We're not gonna have any leaves on these trees pretty soon. Again, this is the sour wood right here. So this is the time to look for sour wood leaves if you want to find it in southern Appalachians. That's a prime honey there. So there you have it. Please subscribe if you enjoy this. Now what follows is some more clips of smoker I've made before that uh, you might enjoy if you haven't seen them already. And uh, actually it's work in a bee yard. So check it out. Follow on. Thanks a lot.